Today I'm going to be sharing two things with you that's probably going to restore your faith in humanity. So here's the first one, check it out. This was amazing as you guys saw. That guy did not care about his life. He just ran toward his death and saved that child's life. The person that was with the child, could you guys see what exactly he or she couldn't do to help the child? Like the reason as to why? Um, it looked like she was grab he or she was grabbing onto something while looking, uh, trying to reach out to the child and stuff. But that other individual who jumped on the track and went toward the child, he's amazing. Uh, hats off to him. Uh, this incident took place in India. India and let's talk about a second one anyways guys welcome to another episode of things happening around the world under five minutes or less so today Derek Chauvin his trial has reached its verdict and the verdict is according to uh, Jennifer uh, Thobes she said uh, verdict in Derek Chauvin trial second degree murder guilty third degree murder guilty second degree manslaughter guilty president biden also tweeted regarding this uh he tweeted today a jury in minnesota found former Minneapolis police officer derek chauvin guilty of murdering george floyd the verdict is a step forward and while nothing can ever bring george floyd back this can be a giant step forward at the march on just on uh, the march uh towards justice in america Former President uh, Obama, he also uh, reacted to the verdict. He said, today a jury did the right thing, but true justice requires much more. Michelle and I send our prayers to the Floyd family and we stand with all those who are committed to guaranteeing every American the full measure of justice that George and so many others has been uh, have been denied. So, since the verdict has reached, now what? This sends a message, you know, for those in power not to abuse their power that there will be consequences if they do. Well, I hope it brings some type of change now and, you know, it can bring a little humanity to some people's heart. While there are more of bad, majority of people are good. With this, the bad ones should be now much more careful of what, what they do and how they abuse their power. This is one of many incidents which took place, uh, the violence uh, committed by police officers, Let's hope that he did not get charged for the fact that it received so much coverage, but by the fact that there was so much evidence there. I hope it brings some type of change because there are so many incidents like this takes place around this country and it needs to stop, especially by those who are given the power to protect, not to abuse their power and authority that's been given to them and use it in a wrong way whether it's against minorities or anyone. They should do what's right. They're the law and they need to use their law the correct way. And each time it's not used the correct way, they all need to be healed of, accountable for their action. That aside, according to Reuters Science News, uh, more than 30 South Korean college students shaved their heads in front of the Japanese embassy in Seoul to protest Japan's decision to release water from its crippled Fukushima nuclear plant into the sea. I remember reading something about this uh, the previous uh, days. They said, while it's not dangerous, you know, to the skin, it can be dangerous when you consume it because, you know, the level that's there. But clearly, it doesn't matter what level of dangerous, um, you know, it poses. This type of material, see, this is one of the consequences of nuclears. While it's a great source of energy, when earthquakes or tsunami or something happens when there's a leak, then there's this type of uh, damage from it. You can contain it only for so long. Then what? That's why we need to think twice about when we're building stuff like this. Not only is it dangerous to the environment, but dangerous to mankind when it's in the wrong hand. Anyways, guys, these are some of the things taking place around the world. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in next time. Till then, take care of yourselves.